Are you tired of staring blankly at your textbook, trying to memorize all those pesky cranial nerves? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're diving into some killer mnemonics that make remembering cranial nerves a breeze. By the end of this video, you'll have these 12 cranial nerves down packed. So make sure to check out the blog link in our description below for a condensed overview of this topic. So first things first, let's start with a quick refresher. We have 12 cranial nerves that all originate from the brain. These cranial nerves control various functions in the head and neck, including movement, sensation, and even vision. They're numbered in the order that they connect to the brain. So first we have olfactory, next we have optic, ocular motor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibular cochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. Whew, okay, now how are we gonna remember all this? So let's tackle two mnemonics to help you remember the order of the 12 cranial nerves. So repeat after me. Only one of the two athletes felt very good, victorious, and healthy. Now it might sound silly, but trust me, it works. But if you didn't like that one, here's another example. On occasion, our trusty truck acts funny. Very good vehicle, anyhow. Now it doesn't matter how you remember it, but each word in this acronym represents a cranial nerve from olfactory to hypoglossal. Next up, let's remember whether each nerve is sensory, motor, or both. So here's another mnemonic. Some say marry money, but my brother says bigger brains matter most. If you place the mnemonic side by side, each word corresponds to nerve's function. So we have sensory, sensory, motor, motor, both, motor, both, sensory, both, both, and motor, motor. Pretty simple, right? Now, finally, let's break down what each nerve actually does. We'll use the same mnemonics. So let's start with the first cranial nerve, the olfactory. This allows us to smell. It's coupled with the word sum for sensory. I remember this as an olfactory that you can smell with your nose. Second is the optic nerve. This is the sensory nerve that allows us to see. Simply think optic for the eyes. Next is the ocular motor nerve. This one's pretty easy because it has the word motor in it. This helps to adjust the pupils and moves the eyelids and so on. Remember, each word gives you a clue about the nerve's function. If you're a more visual learner, you can use this drawing. As you can see, the numbers correspond to the function. We also have a full video in our membership, including all 12 cranial nerves and memory tricks for each. Try creating your own mnemonics or silly stories to help these stick. The more ridiculous, the better you'll remember. Comment your memory trick below. So there you have it, cranial nerves demystified. Keep practicing these mnemonics and you'll be a cranial nerve expert in no time. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to click this link to get all the memory tricks for cranial nerves. I'll see you on the other side.